everyone. It's Danielle and Carrie here. We're having our first episode of Cooking with Danielle and Carrie. And today we're going to be featuring a delicious tailgate recipe submitted by Rhonda Weiss. Um, the recipe is going to be a mini blooming onion with a delicious sauce. So Carrie is going to get us started. Yes, we've got all of our ingredients prepped here. And so what we're gonna start with is of course the beautiful onion. These are smaller onions that we're gonna to use to make these baby blooming onions. And I'm gonna let Danielle demonstrate how we're gonna cut this. But first I wanna say, you definitely want uh, to get your skillet ready. And you need about three inches of oil into your skillet and you wanna heat that to 350 degrees. So um, it can be ready to fry when your onion's ready. So Danielle, if you'll show us how to cut that into a beautiful blossom for everybody. Okay. So we're going to do the onions. The recipe actually recommends Cipollini onions, which are from Italy. However, they are hard to find in this area, so you can go with small yellow onions. I'm going to start demonstrating with the claw hand because we don't want to um, chop our fingers. So you make your hand like a claw. You put the point of the knife down and cut through it. And then we're going to make about four cuts into the onion, um, but we're not gonna go all the way down through the onion, but close, but not all the way through. So there we just make our cuts. It's going to be a beautiful blossom in just a moment, which you can see. Yeah, after we make our cuts, we just spread out all the little petals to make give it that blossom. So once you've cut your beautiful blossoms at home with however many you want to make, um, the next step is to take our bowl and we've got one and a half cups of buttermilk. So we're going to put those babies into a buttermilk bath. So let's add our buttermilk. All right, so I'm going to take this beautiful blossom and you want to make sure to get it coated really, really good. I'm going to put the gloves on at this point because it's going to get real messy but to give that a really, really good coat. So we're gonna let that sit. And the next step, as that's dredging, is to make the mixture that we're going to coat those babies with. So we wanna get another bowl, and you're gonna add two cups of flour to this. We will have exact measurements on our Facebook page with the recipe. So for a time in doing this live, we're just kinda of adding, we got baking powder, so add that to it. You need black pepper, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, give it a little kick, and some sea salt. So get all those mixed, we're gonna whisk all that together. All right, this one's gonna get really messy, so I'm going to put on my glove again, and we're gonna retrieve our blossom from the back, and put it right into, you can see, and you want to just, you know, get your hand in there and you're going to get it really messy, but you want to make sure that it's coated really, really good. Get the product. All right, and I'm going to hand this off to Danielle and we're going to put this baby into our grease. So, okay. Now. Before we get started, do you want to tell them about the Windsor ticket? Yes. Right now at Lottery Retailers. We have a new instant ticket, it's a five dollar ticket called Winsum, where players can win up to thirty five thousand dollars. So you can have one heck of a tailgate party if you get that top prize. And uh, and we're also doing something else with yeah, the yeah. We're prize. also doing an exciting Facebook contest um, with a Winsum ticket. All you need to go is to get from your favorite West Virginia Lottery retailer the ticket, take a selfie with it, and we have a contest on our Facebook page that you can win a signed Randy Moss. Um, Football, 250 winning tickets, or an awesome prize cast. Now you can hear that skillet, and we're going to add our blossom there. So exciting. All right, as I clean up my station here, uh, we're going to do our next step, which is that delicious sauce. I'm going to clean my hands really good. We got, we're social distancing here on set. We're taking all of our precautions to be careful here. <laughs> Cleaning our hands up. All right, this sauce has a half a cup of sour cream. Oh my gosh, Danielle, that smells so good. It does smell good. And a fourth of a cup of real mayo. 
Not the fat free stuff, guys. You want this to be yummy. And you're gonna have some fresh horseradish. Again, we'll have exact measurements on our Facebook page. Spanish smoked paprika. And some more garlic stuff. Oh, yum. That looks so good. I wish you guys had smell of it, and I'm telling you, it smells <laughs> wonderful in here. We are so excited to have the opportunity to have kind of a somewhat of a game day tomorrow, at least in West Virginia. Marshall University has their home opener, and they are allowing a few fans to be there on site. But there will be no tailgate. So, um, we find a little... Danielle, we got a cup to put our sauce in. But you can make this delicious recipe at home. Make this delicious recipe at home for you. If you'll hand me that, we've got our sauce ready. I think we've got our blue onion. Oh, you want to go ahead and put some sauce in here? Yeah. Yeah. Yum. You did a nice job frying those up, Danielle. Yeah, they look really good. Yes, Marshall is going to have, they're going to be live tomorrow on ESPN at 1 p.m. We've got a, a West Virginia, um, a West Virginia resident for the first time in many years is going to be our starting quarterback, so we've got a lot of excitement around that. I know I am with the, he's a Charleston boy, so that's very exciting. So you can make this recipe at home, and you can tune in and watch the herd if you're not able to go and get a ticket for the game. And uh, we're going to announce our winners, our winners from this week. Uh, Danielle, if you'd like to announce our winners for us. Sure, yeah. Our first five um, contestants by proxy on our September 17th game show are going to be Geo Bay from Logan, Polly Adams from Newburgh, John Kern from Kenna, Tamika Thomas from Handy, and Karma Whittington Stover from Leo, West Virginia. Awesome. So thanks everyone who participated. And if you didn't win this contest, we're going to have two more opportunities. We're going to have one go live tonight. And do you want to tell them about that one, Terry? I do, but first I want to try this delicious oh, okay. blooming onion. You just can't um, resist it. <laughs> all right, I can't resist. It smells so, it smells so good, guys. We gotta get in here and try a piece of that with that sauce. Mmm. Game day. This says game day. You gotta make this. It's so good. Thank you all so much for submitting all of your recipes too. I am inspired to say the least. There's lots of them on there that I can't wait to try, and I hope you guys found the same thing. Today our next contest starts. It's called Game Day. Share your favorite game day photos, and you could be one of our next contestants uh, via Lottery Proxy on the next Prizes Right Game Show. That's all going to start today, so stay tuned to Facebook for more details. Thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in.